6.3, perform function operations and composition. Composition is a new idea that we're going to see that we use a lot starting from here. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division all works just as you'd expect it to. The only place we have a problem is domain on division. You have to make sure that bottom doesn't equal zero. In the case of this division example here, you have to say x does not equal negative 2. Other than that, the domain of your new functions is always the same as the domains of the original functions. So let's take a look at part A, f of x plus g of x, which is 4x to the 1 half minus 9x to the 1 half. Because the variables are the same, we can just subtract negative 5x to the 1 half. It's useful to remember that means negative 5 times the square root of x. The reason that's useful, part c is going to ask us for the domain of f plus g. And we know the domain of f plus g, looking at it, would be all numbers bigger than or equal to 0. Notice that was also the domain of the original functions. That's it. Part B, similar problem, 4x to the 1 half minus negative 9x to the 1 half. And we see once again that the domain is all numbers bigger than or equal to 0. One more note on domain. The newest domain is restricted by the domains of the original functions. So we have to look at the domains of these guys and ask ourselves which of those numbers also fit into this. In this particular problem, all three functions have the same domain. We'll see some more complicated examples later on in the lesson. So more of the same. Part A says we're going to multiply, so we just do it. 6x times x to the 3 fourths which gives us, add those exponents, 6x to the 7 over 4. It might be useful to remember that really means the fourth root of x to the 7th. Notice I'm not raising the 6 to the 7th power. When we're talking domain here, domain of our first function was all real numbers. Domain of our second function was numbers bigger than zero, because you can only take the fourth root of positive numbers. So our domain here is x is bigger than or equal to zero. We can't put negative numbers in. Part B is pretty similar. Remember, there's a 1 on that 6x for the exponent. Subtract the exponents either write out or remember that that really means the fourth root. So once again, x has to be bigger than or equal to 0. But we have to be careful. We're dividing by this guy. We're not allowed to have that bottom equal 0. So x can't equal 0. x can only be bigger than 0. It's the fine detail that could cost you a point. All right, go ahead and pause the video, take a minute to read this over, see if you can set up the equation. Part A just says find R of M times S of M. R of M being the heart rate, S of M being the lifespan in minutes. So let's look at what this really means. Multiply these together, see what you get on your own. Notice when I got that 1446 times 10 to the 6th, I decided to go one step further and make it look like it's in scientific notation instead of kind of being in scientific notation. All that's left is explaining what this product represents. So our R of M is beats per minute. We're multiplying that by S of M, which is units in minutes minutes cancel out, that tells us that this formula gives us the total number of beats, heartbeats, of a rhino based on 
its body mass. That's it. At this point, you can pause the video, try these on your own, or you can do that later. Composition, totally new idea. This is where you have one function that you put inside of another function, and you get a new function out. So let's take a look at what that means with an example first. I think that's the easiest way to look at it. So let's find g of f of 3. We work our way from the inside out on these. So first we figure out f of 3. And we could do that off to the side. We know f of x is 2x minus 7. So off to the side we can figure out f of 3 is 2 times 3 minus 7. We get negative 1. So going back to the original problem, we replace f of 3 with negative 1. All that's left now is figure out what g of negative 1 is. We know what g of x is. Done. This is a pretty fast process when you're plugging in numbers. Where it gets a little more complicated is where you start plugging in variables. Like if I said f of g of f of x or something like that, which we'll also see in this lesson. So part A says find f of g of x. So we just go step by step. As always, we work on the inside out for a composition. So the first thing I'm going to do is replace g of x with whatever g of x is. And g of x happens to be 5x minus 2. So I'm just replacing. Now for f of 5x minus 2, I'm going to go back up to the f function and plug in 5x minus 2 wherever I see x. And I'm done, kind of. It's asking me to, well, so ask me for the domain. So before I even do that, I should probably rewrite this in a simpler way. We don't want the negative exponent. Now we can find domain. First we ask ourselves, what's the domain of g? 5x minus 2. That's all real numbers. Then we say, okay, what's the domain of the new function? We're allowed to use any numbers we want from the domain of g as long as they work in the new function. And all real numbers do work in the new function except for 1. All real numbers except positive 2 over 5. We're not allowed to divide by 0. That's how you find domain of composition. First you say, what's the domain of g? And then say, out of those numbers, what works in the new function? So let's look at part b. Try to figure out g of f of x on your own, as well as the domain, and then check in with my answer, see if you agree. To figure out our domain here, we start by looking here and say, what numbers don't work? We can use any number except 0. And we go to our answer and say, OK, any other numbers I have to throw out? The only number that doesn't work here is 0, so we're still good. We say domain is all real numbers except 0. And we're done. Part C is asking us to find f of f of x. Set that up the same way you would set up f of g of x, except just using f twice. Try that on your own. Check in with me. Here's our first example of some trickery. Our final answer looks like the domain might be all real numbers, but we have to be careful, because if we look at our original function that we plugged in, the domain was not all real numbers. The domain was all real numbers except 0. Then we get to say for our final domain, anything from that first domain that still works. That means we're not allowed to have 0 still, even though it just says 16x. Be careful on that. You have to look at the intersection of two domains. At this point, go ahead and pause the video, read over it, see if you can come up with two equations. I'll give you a hint. One of them is going to be called the coupon equation that applies your discount with a coupon. And one of them we'll call the discount equation. So imagine you're coming up with two equations, 
One dealing with a coupon, one dealing with a store discount. Keep them separate, and we'll talk about what to do from there. So I said my coupon equation is x minus 10, where x represents the amount spent. Purchase price. When I apply my coupon, it takes $10 off that purchase price. If I apply the store discount, it takes 15% off the purchase price, which means I pay 85%. So part A here is asking us to find the sale price when I use the $10 gift certificate first. Since I'm using the $10 disc gift certificate first, I'll put the C on the inside. And X, we don't even have to say X. We can really say 55. If you're not sure why the... Oops, that was a mistake. If you're not sure why the purchase price is 55, go back and look at the original problem and look and see what you're buying. So we figure out what C of 55 is, which of course is 45, and apply that 85% price, and we end up with $38.25. Go ahead and try part B on your own. See if you get the same answer as me. It is worth pointing out that composition is not commutative. That means when I do D of C of 55, I do not get the same answer as C of D of 55. That matters. If you think that you can do it in either direction and get the same answer, you'll make a mistake. At this point, you can try these on your own, or you can do these later. At this point, we are finished with this lesson.